Shalom. First and foremost, all praises, honor, and glory due to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rechakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the hopeful elect pushing this word in truth and in sincerity. To the Israelite foreigners that are scattered throughout the four corners of the earth who may look like the heathen nations. And to the very few sisters that listen and learn, to you, Shalom. For the new listeners, Yahweh is the only true name of the Heavenly Father who the world ignorantly calls God or Jehovah. Bahashim in Hebrew means in the name. Yahweh Shai is the only true name of his son who the world ignorantly calls Jesus. And Rechar Kodash. Rechar Chodash is the Spirit Holy, which is the Holy Spirit. I'm the brother Yasharala with Great Millstone Chicago. Um, this is a video that Elder Malcolm has sent me. And hey, man, you know, I, I thought I'd do a lesson on it. And it's a hey, it, it, this is this is only showing us that we are beginning to see the downfall of our enemies all right um as you can see on the bottom over here let me see it says we got ish crackheads <laughs> we got ish crackheads this is in harlem all right i will play it bro we got jewish crackheads now this is outrageous, yeah, this is outrageous. look drug sale right there boom got them Bro, we got Jewish crackheads now. This is outrageous. Look, drug sale right there. Boom, got them. Bro, we I didn't even notice that until right now. Look at look at the woman. Look at the Jake woman right here. She sees what's going down, and she shakes. She's shaking her head. Look, watch. She sees the drug deal. Right, watch. Look, she sees it, and look at her shake her head. Look, drug sale right there. Boom. Got him. Where that at? Hold on. That's over there on West 125th Street and Dr. Martin Luther King Drive. If you see these guys, hey, take their ass to jail. <laughs> Salagi, Salagi. Let me get to the lesson. But there you have it. All right. You got ish ish crackheads and and that's a, that's a curse all right because we're um under the curses as a people but now our enemies are beginning to fall under the curses as well and it's a beautiful thing this is uh you know what before i read no you, you know we're gonna start here we'll start here deuteronomy 30 and 7 it reads and yahweh thy god will put all these curses upon thine enemies and on them that hate thee which persecuted thee all right so all of our enemies which let's see who our enemies are um what's that uh oh i'm getting a freaking brain fart uh Salakia. Psalms 83. Salakia. All right, let's read. Let's read the Psalms 83. Let's see who the enemies are. Psalm, Psalms 83 and 1. A Psalm of Asaph. A song or Psalm of Asaph. Keep thou, keep thou, keep not thou silent, O God. Hold not thy peace and be not still, O God. For lo, thine enemies make a tumult and they that hate thee have lifted up the head so the heavenly father has enemies and by him having enemies all right they're going to hate the heavenly father's chosen people all right it says 
It says, they have taken crafty counsel against thy people. See, that's them not only hating God, but coming against God's people and consulted against thy hidden ones, the Israelites. They, they have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. So they came together to do away with the Israelites. Let's let's eradicate them. Let's take away their name. Right. Which. You know, back then was them putting us into slavery, scattering us to the four corners of the earth via um, slave ships. Um, um, fast forward to, you know, to today back in the, the crack era and all the, the, these drugs, you know, that was they were pumping hard in our neighborhoods. That was them trying to trying to get rid of us, trying to get us hooked on drugs so we could, you know, s slowly but surely um, fade out of existence, you know, giving giving the children of God. You know, putting drugs and guns in their communities so we could, you know, die or, or kill each other, which that that didn't work, you know, because the Lord, Yahweh, Yahweh, has an elect and he's going to preserve them. It says. Um, verse five, for they have consulted together with one consent, they are confederate against thee, so they're all in on this all right so let's start let's see who the enemies are verse six the tabernacles of edom the white the edomites so-called white people and the ishmaelites the arabs uh of moab right chinese and the Hagarenes, gabal and ammon and amalek the philistines with the inhabitants of tyree Assure also is joined with them. They have hope in the children of Lot Salah. So pretty much in a nutshell, it's the, the, the heathen nations. All right. The heathen nations. But it started its main. It named Esau at the top. Right. Edom. And then in verse seven, it names who it names Amalek. All right. Which we seen. We seen with one of those uh, small hat Amaleks buying that buying that crack all right so these are the enemies of god ecclesiasticus sirach 25 and 7 it says there be nine things which i have judged in my heart to be happy and the tenth i will utter with my tongue a man that hath joy of his children which we don't have that right now you know, for the most part, majority of our people don't have joy of their children. They're in the system. They're on child support. The The woman took the kids away with a, with another man, making them pay child support, alimony, kicked them, kicked, got, they got kicked out of their own house, etc. All right. And it says, and he that liveth to see the fall of his enemy. And we're living right now seeing the fall of our enemy here we got we got amalek buying crack <laughs> this is beautiful we're seeing you wouldn't you would have not never seen this back in the day but we are beginning to see the downfall of our enemy slowly but surely which we have been seeing it already you know but but this is this is like whoa <laughs> If this ain't a sign, then if you don't see this as a sign, then I don't think you're, you know, you're spiritual and, and how about Shimmy Al-Shai ain't dealing with you, you know, but we're beginning to see the downfall. We're, we're, we're alive. We're still living and seeing the downfall of our enemy. That's a beautiful thing. All right. Let's go over to the, let's go into the curses. It says he shall Deuteronomy 28. And 44, it says, he shall lend to thee and thou shalt not lend to him. He shall be the head and thou shalt be the tail. So we have to go to the our enemies for the want of all things, you know. So you need a loan. You need, a, a, you know, a bank loan, a mortgage loan, a business loan. Who do you got to go to? 
you got to go to this to these guys they're the ones who own all the banks they're the ones that own all of these financial institutions all right they're the one that owns all the diamond districts in your in your uh um major cities you know he shall be the head and thou shall be the tail and and these these issues you know they're the head you can't even say nothing about them that's why we got to say ish we got to say little hat or we just got to call them what they are amalek you know you can't say the full word because then you get hit with the anti-semantics all right which that ain't even working anymore the world the world you know the other nations they ain't falling for that bs anymore that anti-semantic word all right which there's uh, more than one shemitic nation all right <laughs> but they want to make a word of to protect their wickedness all right it says um Right, so they're above and we're we're the tail. We're the ones at the bottom. But look at that's all gonna change because it was said in above of when it comes down to the blessings that what? Deuteronomy twenty eight and thirteen. And Yahweh shall make thee the head and not the tail, and thou shalt be above only, and thou shalt not be beneath. If that thou hearkened unto the commandments of Yahweh thy God, which I have commanded thee this day to observe and to do them. So in the kingdom, we're going to be programmed to keep the the commandments of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. So with us being programmed, which that's the, the second covenant, you know, us getting that stony heart removed and us getting a fleshly heart. You know, that's us basically um, uh, keeping the law, statutes and commandments. Right. And we're never going to be able to sin again. So that's going to put us in this category where he's going to make us the head. He's going to put us above and he's going to make these other nations the tail. He's going to put them at the bottom. Right. So in the kingdom, it's going to be a world reversal. All right. You're going to see Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans above all these other nations. And they're going to be an, underneath us serving us. Just like right now where we're serving them, you know, we're going to them for the want of all things. We're, you know, they're basically, we're their um, slaves. All right. The roles are going to be reversed where they're going to come to us. They're going to serve us. All right. Um, oh, yeah. So, yeah, that's basically it. That's all I had. You know, nothing too much. Seen this. Sent from the elder. And, um, yeah, hey, we're, we're living and seeing the downfall of our enemies. The curses are falling upon our enemies. Bro, we got Jewish crackheads now? This is outrageous. Look, drug sale right there. Boom. Got him. Bro, we got Jewish crackheads now? This is outrageous. Look, drug sale right there. Boom. Got him. Bro. We <laughs> and with that, all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Shimmy, Yahweh, Shai. Till next time, Shalom.